Hello everyone, Shindo Bean here playing some more Warhammer Combat Cards campaign mode. Playing the second campaign of the week in the Skulls event. As I showed you in the last video, uh, the reward from the missions is this Primaris Chaplain on a bike. I've already unlocked all the copies uh, of this uh, by using a 100% keyword deck full of zealots. It's actually kind of funny because the deck I was using was filled with bodyguards that I never used. It's just all of the misfits in the Space Marine roster. I don't use these guys with any Warlord. Uh, the one that I've used on a couple times, I guess, is the Minotaur's Chapter Master, who I have at level 6. He has pretty impressive stats, but he's not really as good as some of the other cards that are around that cost. And the others, I mean, some of these, they've had their stats buffed, so they actually ha are pretty cost-effective, but I just don't really use them anyway. This guy's kind of cool, uh, the Terminator Chaplain, but... Uh, these guys that have kind of equal ranged and melee attack, I don't find very useful. So, uh, anyway, um, I'm not going to use that deck, and instead run a pretty standard Tolmeron deck. I just recently upgraded the Storm Talon gunship to level 9, so it is now able to deal 122 ranged damage. Uh, very powerful, especially when combined with Tolmeron, and I filled this deck with as many bodyguards uh, as I can. Unfortunately, the success of this deck really depends on when I can get the Storm Talon gunship out, because it needs to be deployed early on to get the most out of Tomeron's special rule. So if it doesn't show up in your hand until late in the game, uh, it can be too late to really be very effective. So uh, we'll see how this works out. Up against a level 29 AI, uh, this is actually as far as I've gotten in this campaign uh, before I was uh, put to shame by Skull Taker. So, see if he can get beyond uh, level 29 in this battle. And once again, the rice cooker is sounding off. As I am starting this match, we are up against Skull Taker again. I don't know if he's showing up more often because of the Skulls event or what. I think this is the third time in a row I've played against him today. Level 5. So, as you can see, no, uh, no Storm Talon gunship in my opening hand. Uh, we're putting down the aggressor uh, with barrage. There's the there's the ship. Okay, so we're gonna put this down over here for now. Got the outflank in. Okay, and now I really wish I had put it on the other side. That is unfortunate. Well, I could put down this guy. The only reason I have the apothecary in here is to heal up the storm talon so that it can survive longer. So plus forty nine. Health is pretty good. Wow, this is a really terrible start. Um, I wish the Storm Talon gunship had been in the middle, then it could have taken out the Noise Marine in one shot, but that is not going to happen. But oh well, we're going to do this anyway. Go for the ranged attack. Destroy the Blood Crusher, deal some pretty good damage there. And we're getting hit by the counterattack. They do have the Psyker, Moonface, with. Psionic Blast in the opposite lane, so this is actually really kind of terrible deployment. Because they can just hit me with their Psychic Attacks, they can return fire with their Noise Marine whenever I go ranged, and now the attack from the Storm Talon is getting debuffed by the Fear. So that thing, this thing at level 10, wow, this Demon Prince is really durable. That thing is not going down anytime soon. Almost had enough damage to take out the Noise Marine, but that's a lot of uh, damage there. Getting hit again by the Sonic Blast, and they are once again chipping away at the health, taking out the Apothecary. And I'm wondering if I want to keep the Storm Talon gunship there. I think we will. Now I could take out the Noise Marine with the Precision Shot. That could be that could be pretty good. I think we'll try that out, see how it ha works out. Okay, so the Noise Marine is taken care of. Storm Talon now does 88 damage and just 38 from the Hell, Bra Hell Blaster. It's not very much. They were able to take out the Herald of Zinch, uh, but the Aggressor is very low in health. An Obliterator, max level. Okay, level 12. That is a whole lot of damage. And a max is that a max level? Great unclean one I just saw. Very big melee attack. 
and that is extremely painful. Now this is, again, not very ideal because, yep, yeah, I can kill their one of one or two of their units and bring out the enemy warlord. But if I move the storm talent to the center lane, then Skull Taker will just kill it when he deploys. So I need the storm talent alive, but I also need to get rid of this obliterator because it just does so much damage. Now uh, there's the level seven. Pox Belly. I'm gonna go like this. May have been the wrong choice there, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So the Obliterator is actually going to kill the Hellblaster, but then that will allow me to move a unit with full health into the center lane so that it's not immediately killed by Skulltaker's Furious Charge. Because uh, that's pretty important, I think. I don't, I do not want Skulltaker attacking the Storm Talon gunship. Uh, yeah, on, on this turn. So, we'll just put down this guy here. And here comes the enemy warlord. Let's hope. Now, they could go... I, I doubt they'll go ranged. That would not make much sense, even though it could destroy my strongest unit. So, they're they're going with the, the melee attack. And they're going to kill off two of my guys, leaving only one bodyguard. Actually, yeah, all of my uh, forces are deploying to the field. And what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, I can... I definitely have enough firepower to take out Skulltech. That was close. Let's move the Storm Talon Gunship to the center lane. I was about to use it on the Obliterator. That would have been terrible. So, now we got the... The buffs, the Inspiring Presence, you can see, plus 76 twice. So now... Holy... I was not even expecting that much. This is a new record for me. 454 ranged attack. That's insane. So, yeah, that's what happens when you deploy the Storm Talon very early on and are able to keep it alive. I went through so many bodyguards, each time a new one deployed, it buffed the Storm Talon. And now we are talking about some serious damage. That's more than enough to take out the Great Unclean one. 613 damage from the Storm Talon uh, with the boost from the Scout from the Ravenwing Biker. That was pretty amazing. So, good thing I moved that over to the center. Let's go ahead and fire at will and blow that Skull Taker to smithereens. So, that worked out in the end, fortunately. Uh, I was a little nervous towards the end because they'd just been chopping up so many of my bodyguards. Fortunately, that Storm Talon gunship was able to survive. It was getting low on health. Uh, only about 64 health, I think, there at the end. But, uh, that is the power of the Storm talon Tolmeron combo. And, it is risky running a full eight bodyguards. Um, I see some players, like in ranked mode, running a much smaller composition. Just makes it a little easier to control what gets uh, deployed at the beginning. But uh, against, in the campaign, uh, it does help to have a lot of bodyguards, I think, just because the enemies deal so much damage. You, and having uh, more bodyguards means overall more health, uh, which allows you to survive longer. So anyway, let me know how it's going for you in the campaign. And um, which of the Space Marine Warlords you've been using for that. Uh, but that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.